Scotty, you know, this was interesting. It's a call spread that we're told targets a drop in the 10-year yield as low as 2.9 percent before November 25th expiration. Can you take us inside this trade a little bit and give us an idea of what this person is, is potentially thinking? Sure, Scott. There are actually a couple of really interesting, interesting trades. This call spread was purchased. And then also somebody bought a bunch of outright calls. Let's talk about the call spread. They paid just seven ticks. And things are a little bit different in the bond world. The, the size of the contract is bigger uh, and the prices are different. But really what this is is somebody is betting uh, they're making a very low cost, very low probability bet that bond prices are going to spike significantly. So uh, the the generic 10-year note right now is about 111 and a half. They're thinking it's going to go up to 118 by the time these options expire. And Scott, there are only a couple of ways in which that would happen. The first would be good news, and that is inflation eases and we get the sense that the Fed's going to let up a little bit. The second is much more well, dramatic, mm -hmm. and I think this is probably what they're shooting for, and that is if things were to get really, really bad in the equity world, then what we see is a flight to quality. We see 10-year note prices spike because people don't really care what they're paying uh, for 10-year notes in that case. They just want some safety. And so this uh, call spread purchase um, is really somebody just taking a very low cost, low probability wager that things may get very bad. Yeah. I mean, consider, you know, what would, and you use the word dramatic, and I think you use that word correctly, um, what would have to happen for the the 10 year to drop 100 basis points from, from here, right? To go down to that level in a reasonably short period of time of a month, right? You would, you would have to think that something would have broken, uh, so to speak to get you to that level. It's the latter rather than the former of what you suggested of inflation just dropping like a stone and then the Fed would have to ease off. The likelihood of that happening in that time frame is unlikely to say the least. Uh, unlikely in the extreme that the Fed would say, OK, we're done. Uh, we've done everything we need to through the end of the year. I mean, given what uh, Charlie Evans, the uh, Fed head in Chicago and Lael Brainer said what she said yesterday, that that is uh, unlikely in the extreme. And so, again, what is much, much more likely, and you, you see this uh, ever since what happened in 1987, when we saw bond prices spike, again, dramatically uh, after the crash in 1987. We had a huge rush to quality. And so what happens is if things get really messy, really ugly in the equity world, then, then people are, are worried about return of capital, not return on capital, and they rush into the fixed income, mm -hmm. the, the treasury bond markets. And that's what would have to happen. And, you know, this is really, Scott, this is, even though this is a, a trade in the bond world, it's really an equity tail risk trade. Mm. Interesting. Oh.